and cowboys because you have that image of you being the tough man in this cool world. Bruce is a Chinese student who became a cowboy after moving to Texas for school. We traveled to Lubbock to learn how and why Bruce made this transformation. This is a story about fitting in and what it means to feel American. My name's Bruce, and this is Untold America. When I first came to the States, I didn't have a Southern accent. I am from Kunming, Yunnan. Southwest China. I learned my southern accent mostly by watching uh, Dark Dynasty. I'm fixing to go crazy redneck up in here. And Jeff Foxworthy's uh, videos. If your richest relative buys a new house and you have to help take the wheels off of it, <laughs> you might be a redneck. And that inspired Bruce to start his own YouTube channel to teach others to speak just like him. Southern accents in general have exaggerated and softened vowels. How do people usually respond when they see you, this uh, Chinese cowboy with a southern accent? <laughs> well, depending on where they meet me, it gets really interesting. Bruce fully immersed himself in cowboy culture by working on a cattle ranch. This is James. And he's my cowboy mentor. He taught me how to ride a horse, uh, how to take care of a cattle. First time I talked with Bruce over the phone, and he had that real southern accent on him. I was like, whoa. But they, they had told me that he was, he was oriental. And when I talked to him over the phone, he didn't sound like you. And when I met him, I was like, okay. Bruce has taught me how to be patient where, when it comes to talking to other ethnic groups, because I usually would never ever even talk to him. The first time he was on a horse, the next day, he couldn't move a single muscle in his body. He was sore. He was so sore, he got scared that he thought he needed to go to the doctor. <laughs> like, Kung Fu training involves a lot of yelling and screaming, and same thing with, I guess, cowboy training here. He comes from China, and to learn the Southern way, that's real impressive. You're the most Texan guy I know, dude. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this guy's out here actually, you know, interacting with the, with the local locals. culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to be one of y'all and deceive everybody. Bruce is one of more than 15,000 students from China studying in Texas, but he might be the only cowboy. It seemed like Bruce went through some rough or dark times. Uh, with his identity, he asked me to take him to shop for boots because he wanted to be a cowboy. And at that time, he started having an accent and really tried to wrap himself up in this new cowboy uh, identity. In ways, I think maybe his cowboy identity helps him fit in, not feeling like there's prejudice against him, but his identity is unusual. Do you think people treat you differently because you have a Southern accent versus, say, a Chinese-accented English? Well, I think yes, especially at the beginning stage. Because you think about the stereotypes about Asian people, like we're smart and geeky, uh, and uh, it's like the polar opposite of uh, Renex. Have you experienced racism in the time you've been in the U.S.? I say no. To say compared to y'all Asian Americans who uh, grew up over here, I bet that's a very different experience. But growing up in China, racism is one of the least things that I would encounter. You think when we speak Chinese, you're not another person? There are too many people who have a little feeling. Do you want to go to China? I want, I want. In what ways? Um, it just, as time goes by, a lot of stuff I saw as a kid in China just became. Why I would like things like uh, rednecks, cowboys, this kind of stuff, I think maybe also has something to do with my homesickness. Do I want to stay in the U.S.? And there, there's a lot of yeses. I got myself so much into the cultural and 
it was social aspect of America. And it's not something that I can just pack up and go home and never look back. I do consider Bruce a Texan for what he has learned. It's in his blood. Because if he ever goes back to China, and he's going to miss, he's, he's going to miss Texas. He'll be back. Hi, partners. Thanks for checking my story. Watch this other video of another Texan who's from China on Untold America.